this is in the context of the vocational skill education yes sir. right so because uh, we have i mean one of one of the thing thing was even we need to work on the school education higher education vocational education professional education these were all part of the national education policy and many things were our working in silos as you know the earlier uh, systems of education and certainly one of the important tasks for us is the modern developments shows the connectivity between the various areas the importance of vocational education in this kind of the context and skill development have always been recognized in pre-independence india however its delivery has always been suboptimal due to the very large part of this lack of adequate investment over many decades and also several other reasons. Delivery mechanisms are also largely separate from the mainstream education, leading to a divergence between the vocational education and mainstream school and college education, as well as between academia and industry. The complexity and challenge of delivering vocational education and skill development to all age groups those in school or higher education, as well as those outside, include dropouts and adults, cannot be underestimated. Everybody knows what kind of numbers they are present. Not just due to the many factors of the economy and society that need to be understood and catered to, but also due to the need for academia, industry, and the government to work together. NEP 2020 enables the reimagination of the vocational education since it moves the focus towards experiential learning, instead of asking students, what do you know? NEP turns the focus towards asking the question, what can you do with what you know? This shift in perspective is pivotal in the reimagination, namely of bringing vocational education and uh, vocational education and skill development to the center stage and building education at all levels around the concept of learning to do while also learning to know, learning to be, and learning to live together. The four pillars of the 21st century education. The NEP 2020 outlines all the elements necessary to deliver this reimagination and serving all sections of the society. It brings in experiential learning connection to everyday life, lack with the Prime Minister's statement fixed with many of these to the society, to the environment, to the, to the arts heritage, culture, etc. from the earliest stages in school. NEP also aims to bring school dropouts back into schools and envisages using school complexes to serve youth and adults, providing them with skills and competencies for life and livelihoods. The Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, MSDE, a core system consisting of the ministry and its constituents. The National Skill Development Corporation is training partners and the Sector Skill Council, like the SSEs as you call them, and between them have an enormous amount of know-how. We should know that this is their since they have been engaged in skill development since the 11th five-year plan since 2008. Their know-how includes skills gaps in the industry that need to be filled, the curriculum that needs to be bought in the various sectors of the economy at various levels of proficiency, and the assessment standards for various job roles for the national so the skill qualification framework that is determined by the sector skills councils. This ecosystem also has access to trainers and funding to industry partners that can provide apprenticeships and internships and access to shared infrastructure and collaboration with governments and the ability to help with student placements. This ecosystem can therefore play a seminal role in helping educational institutions deliver on their mandate of integrating educational education into their offerings as required by the NEP 2020. Instead of uh, individual, there's a higher education institute signing MOUs with, you know, these are some operational details I brought in because they have their own intrinsic complexities. As is happening now, they sign MOU with individual SSTs and so on. It would be better if the National Committee for Integration of Vocational, they have set it up now, recommended by the NEB, we have set it up, it's recommended in CB, in the National Committee for Integration of Vocational Education, 
could then be tasked with the working of with all the stakeholders, sharing model curricula developed in conjunction with industry. Widely, this could be then be enhanced by educational institutions as per their local needs, assisting with training of trainers, providing career guidance and counseling to students so that they can make the right choices of occasions for themselves as per their interests, aptitude and aspirations, and providing startup funds for institutions that need to begin integrating vocational education and the mainstream education, skill development, assisting educational institution with giving students necessary industry exposure and helping their placements, then the recommendation could be implemented at scales. So this is the kind of thing that we have converted. The important thing is when we wrote the national education policy, to, uh, the, the draft version, we had recommended that there should be some more homework we need to do in bringing the vocational skill and education into the mainstream education. And some of those frameworks have to be matched. So the process is on, I understand, substantial progress has been made on that particular thing. Hopefully we will see that the mainstream education and the skill education, in fact, it is now brought to the same minister. There's a ministry of education. Uh, minister C oversees both skill development as well as the mainstream education. We hope this integration will find a very effective uh, skill development capability in the country. A real um, imagining will take place at that. And it is not very far away because I think the rules of the game are fairly well understood now. That's all I can say. Thank you, sir.